Hey y'all. Today we are talking about the periodic table and how it is organized by physical properties. Um, you may have covered this in sixth grade uh, if you were in the state of Texas. If you were not, that's okay. We're doing a recap. Um, it's just going to be a really quick one. So if you look at the periodic table above me, um, there is three main categories that the periodic table is divided into and if you look the biggest category the majority of the periodic table is going to be metals so if you think about it metals ha are shiny they are really good conductors of electricity we tend to use them for precious metals as well they are ductile so ductile like you can heat them up and then string them out as wire so inside of all of our cords is wire it's metal wire it tends to be aluminum and copper um, malleable they are also malleable so when we um, if you think about it like if you get a mallet and you can pound it down it's not going to break um, you can also bend it and it's not going to break that's malleable um, also they're really good uh, conductors of heat not just electricity but heat as well so if you think about those old school uh, metal slides uh, I don't know if you've seen them they've, they've taken them off of playgrounds that have been in the public for the most part because it was just not a good idea uh, if you ask your parents if they're behind you you can ask them about those metal slides and how you know when you're a kid you're like awesome it's a slide it's super shiny it attracts children because children like shiny things um, you would go on it and you would realize it was a bad idea, especially in the middle of the summer. So why? Because it conducted heat and so it would just it'd burn you the whole way down. Um, sorry. Um, we should have planned that out better as adults. But I was a kid when that came out, so wasn't there. Um, moving over to the right side of the periodic table, uh, we have our nonmetals, and our nonmetals tend to be dull, um, so they're not shiny. Dull is the very opposite of shiny. They tend to be brittle, so when we bend our, our wires, they don't break, but brittle means they would just break, kind of shatter, almost like glass. So if you think of carbon, carbon's a really good, um, non-metal to bring up here because carbon is um it can be a gas but it can also be uh, a solid and so you find it in a, as a solid in charcoal so ironically charcoal in spanish is called carbon um so when you drop it it doesn't dent or anything like that the way metal might it actually shatters or breaks uh, if it's got enough force um, so it'll break into little pieces um, they are also poor conductors of uh, heat and electricity so if you think about it um, like let's see helium neon all those are inert so they are stable they don't react um, so they're not going to uh, have a whole lot of reactivity but also um, as far as sorry conductors and electricity I got off on that one but if you think about the wires that we use I'm able to touch the wire even if it's plugged in um, to pull it back out because the metal inside of it is coated with this um, plastic and so we tend to to coat metal things with our non-metals so that we don't we don't have to feel the electricity or you know the uh, or any heat for that matter so um we've used we've turned like going back to the slide we use a non-metal to make the the slides now because obviously we learned that the metal slides will you know conduct heat and that's not fun for anyone so there you go um the middle, the middle um, section, the metalloids, which is along that little staircase, um, those are colored in green. Um, they're kind of, uh, 
an in-between. It's hard to, to say it correctly, but they are not really metal and they're not really metalloid and they try, they mesh a lot of the characteristics in between. So they're semiconductors of electricity and heat. Um, so we tend to use them in technology uh, for like circuit boards and stuff. So if you are in robotics, you would see some of those circuit boards um, to attach wires to uh, in order to make the, little, uh, the machines go. And then some of them are ductile, but not all of them. So it's kind of like a half and half situation. Uh, some are malleable and some are not. So it's just kind of hit or miss with with um, with the uh, metalloids. And again, some of them are shiny, some of them are dull. So they are sharing this, the metals and the non-metal uh, characteristics. Um, so it's just... It's an in-between factor, and so we have a song to remember them so we can uh, se separate, you know, the metalloids, and then you know that the uh, metals on the left and non-metals are on the right, um, and you'll know that the majority is metals. So on the next slide, um, you'll see me rap. My husband tried to help me, um, and he got a little nervous, but I'm... I'm not judging him. I, I think that was nice that he helped. Um, anyway, um, you're going to be singing it soon also. And you're going to record yourself. But don't worry because I'm the only one that's going to see it. So if you need to practice it there, you can kind of like maybe hum it along if you're in class. And maybe record it at home if you're a little bit embarrassed. Um, but you don't have to be because everyone's going to sing it. And I'm the only one that's going to see the final product. So, so there you go. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to email because I will be checking my email. Alrighty. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.